Elena here from TNO, the Neighborhood Organization, Early On Child and Family Center, and I'm here for the second installment of Story Times and Craft. So today's book will uh, is called Petra, and this book is by Marianne Copo, and she wrote the story and did all the illustrations. And the craft we're going to do along with this book is rock painting. So of course you're going to need some rocks for this activity as well as a paintbrush or some markers or paint markers like I have here and and just some patience for the rock to dry afterwards and as always all activities should be supervised by an adult in order to ensure safety for your child um, but now I'm going to start by reading our book so this is Petra and Petra the word Petra means stone or rock and I just love, love, love the name. If I had a little girl, I would surely name her Petra. All right. Nothing can move me. Not the wind. Not time. I don't go anywhere. Everyone comes to me. I am strong. I, I'm a fearsome, fearless, mighty, magnificent mountain. Oh, what's this? A stick. A stick is flying over Petra. Oh, here comes a doggy. Oh, oh, look at that. He's got Petra in its mouth. Is that a pebble? Woof! Me? A pebble? No way. Plop! Right into a nest. I'm an egg. A smooth and shiny egg. I'm not any ordinary egg. I'm an egg of the world in a world of possibility. Will I breathe fire? Will I wear a tuxedo? Whatever I become, I'm bound to be amazing. There's no room for rocks in my nest. Oh no, not again. This is becoming a pattern. Well, they say no egg is an island. But what an amazing island I am! What paradise, what palm trees, what peace, what sunshine, what... What a cool rock! Uh-oh, Petra doesn't look very impressed. Somebody found her and put Petra in their pocket. Look at that. It was a little girl. And it looks like she's painting something on Petra. Hmm. Not bad at all. Look at that. She's been painted into an elephant. What will I be tomorrow? Who knows? Well, no need to worry. I'm a rock. And this is how I roll. The end. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that book. And now it's time to do our craft to go along with it. So if you've got your rock, um, what you can do, which is totally optional, is paint it one solid color like I've uh, pre-done in advance. So I've painted my rock gold and I've allowed it to dry. Um, I just used uh, acrylic non-toxic paint that I've purchased at Dollarama. And I use my paintbrush. So my rock is ready to be painted on top. And because of the season, I thought I would do a little Christmas tree. So let me try to show you up close. And this uh, paint marker that I'm using, I also bought at Dollarama. And they're just a nice little mess-free way um, to, to do some paints with your kits. Ooh, it's really hard for me to 
paint this way, but I do want to show you my little craft and what I'm doing here. So basically I'm just stacking triangles on top of each other to do a Christmas tree. But of course, you could paint your rock with whatever you like. You could do an animal, just like the little girl did in the story. She turned her, her rock, Petra, into an elephant. There we go, there's my Christmas tree. And I'm gonna, well normally I would let that dry before I uh, put any ornaments on it. But just in the interest of time for this video, I'm gonna take a red, paint marker and do some, there we go, I'm going to do some ornaments there. So there is my painted holiday rock and that's my decoration. And you could do, there's a world of possibilities you could do with your rocks. Um, one of the great activities I found in this book um, called ABC Mindful Me by Christian Angle is a motion rock. So I'll just read quickly this activity. Having these emotion rocks handy could help you to talk about your emotions and express your feelings. Collect some rocks in different shapes and sizes. Paint some faces on them to show emotions like sadness, joy, fear, surprise, anger, and shyness. Whenever it's hard to talk about your feelings, try using an emotion rock to say it instead. And I've done this activity with my son, Colin, a while ago, and this is how they turned out. So this is jealous, so green with envy. And here, I've got sad, yeah. So what I've done here for, for Colin is I drew the faces, I drew the expressions with, um, with a permanent marker because he's still too little to draw like that. And then he painted the rocks a solid color. So this one is shy. This one is surprised, and this one is loved, and there's so many more, and he really, really enjoyed this activity, and he still plays with them, so it's a really good one. Okay, well, I'm, I hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of Storytime and Crafts, and happy crafting, everyone. See you next time. Bye now.